Let's invite you to watch the English news on the Central Television Channel of Jumnai Province. October 30th, Treasury Secretary Dolam chaired a meeting of the Standing Committee of the Central Steering Committee on Preventing and Combating Corruption, Waste and Negativity. At the meeting, the Standing Committee of the Steering Committee discussed and gave opinions on the situation and results of directing the handling of corruption and negative cases and incidents since the 26th session up to now. According to the assessment, in the context of many important events of the country, the economic development situation with many positive results, the complicated developments of natural disasters, especially storm number three, which caused heavy damage. However, thanks to the synchronous, smooth and close coordination, we have a sense of responsibility of the agencies. The work of preventing and combating corruption and negative incidents continue to be promoted continuously without stopping, closely following reality. The more it was done, the more accurate it was. Creating many clear changes, achieving many positive results, continuing to consolidate the trust of cadres, party members and people. In addition, the Standing Committee of the Central Steering Committee on Preventing and Combating Corruption, Waste and Negative Incidents also gave directions on handling a number of cases and incidents under the monitoring and direction of the Steering Committee. At the meeting, the Standing Committee of the Steering Committee announced the Politburo's decision on adding functions and tasks on waste prevention and control to the Central Steering Committee on Corruption and Negativity Prevention and Control to promote the work of preventing and controlling corruption, negativity and waste prevention. And at the same time announced the decision on perfecting the Steering Committee. According to the Ministry of Industry and Trade, the total import and export turnover between Vietnam and the Philippines in 2024 is forecast to exceed 8 billion USD for the first time, reaching out 8.5 billion USD, of which the trade surplus is over 3 billion USD. There are currently about 35 Vietnamese products exported to the Philippine market. In the first nine months of this year, 20 Vietnamese products exported to the Philippine market had positive export growth compared to the same period in 2023, including products with high growth rates such as rice, coffee, pepper, fertilizers of all kinds, iron and steel products, foods of all kinds and components. According to the Vietnam Association of Seafood Exporters and Producers, VASAF, the third quarter of 2024 is a memorable period with strong recovery from major markets, showing that demand from these markets is on the rise again and is expected to break out at the end of the year. It is forecasted that in 2024, Pangasius exports will reach the 2 billion USD mark. Regarding export markets, the most notable is the Iraqi market. When the past nine months, Pangasius export turned over to this country with 11 million USD, an increase of 127% over the same period. For the U.S. market, the export value reached 256 million USD, an increase of 24% over the same period. The largest market, China, has somewhat decreased. According to the Social Policy Bank, Dongnai Province branch, the total social policy capital in the province has reached 5.6 trillion Vietnam dong, an increase of over 630 billion Vietnam dong compared to the beginning of the year equivalent to an increase of 12.8%, while the national average increased by 8.5%. Notably, in the first nine months of 2024, the interested local patriot capital rate 1.5 trillion Vietnam dong, accounting for 26.7% of the total capital, an increase of more than 260 billion USD compared to the beginning of the year, with this increase, the provincial branch of the Social Policy Bank has completed the target of local poultry capital entrusted to the Social Policy Bank, exceeded the annual plan by 32%. 
Also, according to the Dongnai Social Policy Bank, the total lending turnover in the first nine months of the year reached 1.6 trillion Vietnam dong, equal to 120% compared to the same period in 2023, with more than 36,000 poor households and policies beneficiaries receiving loans. The total outstanding debt as of September 30th was 5.6 trillion Vietnam dong, completing 95% of the plan. Iranian state media on October 30th called to Defense Minister Brigadier General Aziz Nasizadeh are saying that missile production was not interrupted after Israel's airstrike on the Islamic Republic on October 26th. The enemy tried to damage our defense and attack systems, but they were unsuccessful because we knew about it and had arrangements. Defense Minister Nasuzadeh said on the salaries of a cabinet meeting in Tehran, the knowledge was inherent, so there was no disruption in missile production and any damage caused by the attacks had been repaired, he said. On the same day, Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi said that Israel attacked Iran using the airspace of other countries in addition to the U.S.-controlled airspace in Iraq, adding that Tehran had complained to the U.N. about the issue. October 26, Israeli aircraft used U.S.-controlled airspace in Iraq to fire missiles at military facilities in Iran's Tehran, Kazakhstan, and Ilam provinces. The travel staff of the Iranian Armed Forces announced that a large number of Israeli missiles and aircraft were intercepted. October 30th, the U.S. and South Korean militaries conducted a live fire exercise with the participation of Apache helicopters from the two countries' militaries. The exercise took place north of the south, about 30 kilometers from the North Korean border. During the exercise, the two countries' armies demonstrated their strong self-defense capabilities. Speaking here, Lieutenant Colonel Sue O'Brien, commander of the 517 Air Cavalry Squadron, U.S. Army, said the exercise is to test the combat readiness not only of the U.S. Air Force but also of the ROK Army and how we cooperate in combat. The drills took place in the context of the South Korean Central Intelligence Agency announcing on the same day that North Korea has completed preparations to conduct a nuclear test or an intercontinental ballistic missile at the test site in the northeastern part of Bungary. According to the agency, the test is likely to be carried down at terminal number 3 of the test site, and the trusted weapon is capable of reaching the U.S. by the time the U.S. holds the presidential election on November 5th. You have just watched the English news on the Central Television Channel of the Province. Thank you for joining us, and goodbye.